very healthy, big, and active. another video welcome to another vlog we're just gonna do another weekly vlog if you're new here welcome my name is Madison I'm so happy that you're here this is just gonna be a chill chatty casual vlog this week um, I don't have like a ton going on but I am just gonna bring you along week in life 31 weeks pregnant we are feeling big this week I just got home from a bunch of doctor appointments checking on baby boy he is doing good very healthy big and active as always. My last vlog that just went live, I updated you guys on baby boy and how he's doing, kind of like what the doctor appointments were about, why I had them, all of that stuff. So if you're curious or want like an update on him, how he's doing, I have that all in that last video if you want to go check that out. Um, but I just got some groceries delivered. So we're going to go put those away and then probably make ourselves a nice little girl dinner tonight because Kyle's working. <laughs> so it's just me and when it's just me, I'm lazy and I don't feel like making a big old dinner. So I'm probably gonna eat like just something real simple. <laughs> all last week so we quite literally have zero food in this house and I have the Walmart delivery subscription which is so so nice <laughs> not sponsored by them just so nice to have especially because grocery shopping these days is a whole task so I love being able to have them deliver all right let's go ahead and tackle put away all the groceries <laughs> groceries but it is so nice I gotta say to have them delivered I know it's lazy Kyle loves grocery shopping and he doesn't understand why I order groceries to get delivered but comment down below if you like grocery shopping I feel like there's like two different types of people you either love it or you hate it I just like cannot <laughs> stand grocery shopping I don't know why it's just like that one chore I hate doing so if I can get them delivered I'm gonna get them delivered <laughs> like I said Kyle and I just got back from our baby moon we went to a 30a we were staying like in seaside of Florida last week it was so much fun we were down there for five nights and it was just really nice just having that like him and I time away it's probably gonna be some of our last alone time before baby makes his arrival and just nine or less weeks which is crazy we're down to single digits the trip was so much fun it was exactly what we needed we just chilled on the beach ate our hearts out just like went to different restaurants walked around it was very relaxing um, and just really nice just to get to spend quality time together especially because his work schedule is so busy um so yeah we just really soaked up that last bit of time together because it hit us i'm like this will be our last trip where it's just us without a baby or a child tagging along. <laughs> I want to share about the phone case that I used while we were traveling in Florida that was so nice and so handy to have. I want to thank Magback for sponsoring today's video. I will have their name on the screen. If you guys are someone that is constantly reaching for your wallet, constantly reaching for your cards, your credit card, your ID, I'll show you the set that I have from Magback. So first of all, I have the Magback mounting case. So this is their magnetic case. You can mount it anywhere. You can mount it in your car, any magnetic surface. It's so nice, so convenient to have around. And this magnet is so strong. It seriously can hold on to anything. 
it's not gonna budge. You don't have to worry about it dropping, although it is drop proof. It has these rounded cushion corners, so it's been drop tested. You can drop it. You don't have to worry about it hurting your phone. And then I also have the Magback wallet. This is especially nice for traveling, so you don't have to carry around a purse or a wallet that's like heavy and clunky in your bag with you all day every day. And it attaches to the back of your case, which is really nice because it's magnetic. It can fit up to nine cards. It has cash capacity. It has dual compartments for your cards or your cash to keep them separate. It has an adjustable finger loop, easy to hold. And honestly, this is just really, really nice for me whenever I'm carrying my phone around all day. Unlike some card holders, I feel like this one has an easy swipe. So you can easily swipe up those cards to get them out and a super comfortable hold too. It's also super thin profile. It's not big and clunky, not super heavy, very light weight and what I love about it is that you can also use the Magback wallet as a kickstand so you can easily kind of flare it out and use it to kickstand and hold up your phone. It is magnetic so even with the wallet on there it can also be a mount. It's embedded in magnetic shielding which protects your cards to keep your information safe and secure. I also just love how like sleek and minimal the design is. I think it just looks really cute. I love the finger loop just it's easy to hold really good quality leather good quality magnet. <laughs> background is little baby boy. Yeah, just cannot say enough good things. I really, really like it. So if you guys want to check out the Magback cases or the Magback wallet that goes along with it, I will have their website linked down below if you would like to shop their products. All right, I just took a shower, got all cozy, just made myself a gourmet bowl of mac and cheese. <laughs> this is like my go-to girl dinner whenever I'm home by myself because it's just so easy to make. It reminds me of my first trimester when, I don't know why, I just had like no appetite. All I could get down was mac and cheese. So I would make mac and cheese every single night. <laughs> to be real, I'm not pregnant. Could still eat mac and cheese every single night. I'm gonna turn on a show. I think I'm gonna start the new season of Love Island US. Um, I heard it's really good. I just finished watching A Perfect Match. If you guys have seen that before, they just came out with season two. And it's really good. Just one of those trashy reality TV shows that I really, really like. Oh, I didn't know that they have a Love is Blind Brazil. Let me know if you guys have seen that. That might be good. Right, I'm going to watch my show, eat my girl dinner, and then check in with you later. outside but hello good morning this one has been trying to get me up for the past hour i know i'm finally up okay but it's just been one of those like thunderstormy mornings where it's like so hard to get out of bed because it's so relaxing i'm actually so glad that it is thunderstorming today and like cooling off outside because Yesterday it got up to 104 degrees and Missouri is just like going through this heat wave right now. It's so hot. It's like unbearable to be outside. Yesterday, Kyle and I, Kyle actually ended up being off work yesterday. And so we had every plan of having a pool day, but it was so hot outside. It was like too hot for a pool day. <laughs> like you couldn't even stand just to be outside the car ride to his mom's house my air conditioning like could not cool my car down like it like was working overtime and it was just like so hot outside i guess that like it literally could not cool my car down enough i was like struggling in the car on the way there just being like so pregnant and already just like so uncomfortable in the car and it being like 104 degrees outside i just literally like the whole car ride there i was just dying and so Kyle was like are you okay I'm like no I just like this heat like I know everyone told me being big pregnant in the summertime was gonna be hard and it definitely is I mean like you cannot handle heat the same whenever you're this pregnant and I swear like my body heat is already raised like I'm just like naturally 
hotter now that I'm pregnant and so yeah I was like struggling yesterday in the heat I literally was like I cannot leave the house if it is like this I need to stay in air conditioning so when we got to his mom's house and like got inside air conditioning I did not want to leave it and we ended up not even having a pool day because I was like I can't even go outside I mean I would have to be like fully submerged in that pool and that pool would have to be cold for me to be out there and so it's so funny we literally all ended up just like staying inside in the air conditioning for the rest of the day we didn't even like go outside but luckily it's like thunderstorming today and hopefully like cooling down because yeah it's just been ridiculous let me know if you've had like a giant heat wave where you live because it is not fun i mean i'm all for warmer weather like i would choose hot over cold any day but this is just like another level of hot anyways I just woke up and I have plans to go visit a friend of mine today, which I'm really excited about. One of my really good girlfriends that were on my kindergarten team this school year. She had a baby about a month ago. Um, there was actually four of us that were pregnant on my kindergarten team <laughs> this school year, which was so fun. Just like all of us being pregnant and we were due April, May, June, and then I'm August. I was the last one to like announce it. So um she was one of the may <laughs> ones so she had her baby about a month ago and i haven't been able to go visit him yet i've seen her um once but i haven't seen her baby yet so i'm so excited to go over there and just like see how she's doing um i've just had like so many friends in this season of life that were like pregnant or first time moms or like just had a baby and yesterday or two days ago i went and visited a different girlfriend of mine who just had a baby and was able to like see her son she also had a boy for the first time and it's just been like so much fun just to have these like women in my life that are going through the same thing that i'm going through and hear their labor and delivery stories and just like get all the like the mom advice from them and everything so yeah, I'm really, really excited to go like cuddle her newborn baby boy today and then also just like check in on her and like see how she's doing and um, just hear all the things because I'm sure it's been a lot the first month of motherhood. So I'm going to go over there soon. Um, and then on the agenda today, I really want to go get a pedicure. I know that's so random, but I feel like I said this in a recent vlog. I tried to paint my own toes before our baby moon. And it was a no-go. I literally cannot bend over to paint my own toes. Kyle had to paint them for me. He was so cute. He was like down on the ground painting my toes for me because I just couldn't do it. It's so uncomfortable. I'm just like too big at this point to paint my own toes. So um, as good of a job he did, he did a great job. They did get like kind of chipped on our baby moon and my baby showers this weekend. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, which I'm really excited about. So I want to have like fresh painted toes for it so i'm like you know i'm just gonna treat myself to a pedicure have someone else paint them for me again so i'm gonna go get a pedicure after i visit her This has just been kind of like my go-to hot summer pregnancy outfit lately because it's so comfortable. I've been living in these biker shorts. I got these off Amazon. I think it's the brand CRZ Yoga. I bought a pair of their like long leggings during the wintertime and they're so comfortable. So I have their biker shorts in a few colors and they're just so stretchy. They come up really high on the bump. They're just so comfy. And then usually just pair it with like some sort of tee sneakers and then i've just been like throwing my hair up <laughs> in a bun I'm wearing it with a hat lately I had 
a really good time at my girlfriend's house holding her sweet baby boy and just like catching up with her. She's doing really, really good. Don't mind the stain I got on my shirt from eating lunch today. But I'm about to make dinner. I have been trying to motivate myself to make dinner more often just because I'm home now and being a stay-at-home mom, I want to get into my cooking and baking era. I want to work on my confidence in the kitchen because I don't have a lot of confidence in the kitchen. My husband is the cook. Um, but with him working like such long shifts and everything, obviously I will be the one making the most dinners. So I have been like saving a bunch of recipes on Pinterest, on Instagram, and trying to like get some inspiration to get in the kitchen. Because every time I make a meal, I always feel really proud after and it always turns out really good. Um, Kyle's always like, I'm new to a bitch. I don't know why you don't cook more. I just like don't have a lot of confidence in the kitchen. So I want to work on that. So tonight we are going to make a lasagna soup. It's like that viral lasagna soup recipe that I've been seeing everywhere. It doesn't look too hard. Um, pretty beginner friendly. So I'm gonna make that. Kyle's on his way home from work and then I'll have dinner ready for him when he gets home. with a couple girlfriends of mine. Just put on this cute little white slip dress. Don't mind, I have a couple stains I was wiping with water. Um, this I actually bought for my bachelorette party, <laughs> which is funny. I wore this whenever I was a bride last <laughs> year, but still super cute and comfy. Um, just gonna go meet up with a couple of my girlfriends from college. We try to have like monthly hangouts because just always trying to keep in touch with my close girlfriends. Um, so it's hard whenever one of them is engaged, planning a wedding, the other one has a baby. Obviously I have a baby on the way. So we try really hard to have monthly hangouts. So this is our June hangout <laughs> of the month. Wish me luck is like, I think 98, 99 degrees outside or something. So hopefully I can tolerate the heat a little bit better today. Hopefully my air conditioning will actually cool down my car today. We are going to a cute little restaurant called Edgewild, which is in Chesterfield. So I'll try to get some clips of it. It's really, really cute. Um, I think they have like an outdoor little winery area. We will be inside in the air conditioning <laughs> for sure. Um, and then I didn't get my pedicure yesterday. So I think I'm gonna get my pedicure on the way home. getting a manicure and a pedicure I took off my acrylics a couple months ago and have just been embracing the short stubby nails I'm a nail biter <laughs> forever will be well hopefully not maybe I'll break that habit one day um but whenever I went in I was like well I guess I can just have him like do a manicure on me just like trim them up put some gel so I just got like bubble bath and it feels really good just to get like my cuticles trimmed and all that so they're looking really nice they're still short but I just know for like mom life I'm gonna have to keep my nails short anyway um 
I'm not gonna really want like acrylics when I'm doing daily diaper changes and stuff. But yeah, and then I just got a French manicure or pedicure on my toes, which felt so good. Like I always underestimate how good a pedicure feels. And I got their jelly pedicure, which is what you like saw, and it just felt so good. Um, it was so funny. They were like spoiling me in there. Like being pregnant has its perks for sure. I'm going to miss it. Like people are so nice to you when you're pregnant. Whenever you walk in any place, people immediately are like, talking to you, chatting you up, asking you how you're doing, tell like complimenting you. Like never, when you're not pregnant, you walk into a place, people, you know, it's like, you don't mean anything to them. <laughs> the second you walk in pregnant, everybody's like asking how you're doing. It's really nice and it's really sweet. And so right as I walked in, they had me like sit down and they were like, oh, come in, let's get you comfortable. And they gave me like a pillow for my back in the massage chair and then like a pillow for my lap. And they were like resting my hands on it, like over my belly. It was just so funny. They were like spoiling me and he was like doing my manicure at the same chair that I was getting my pedicure at. And all the girls, like the ladies that were in there getting their pedicures done were just like asking me how I'm doing, how far along I am, and just like complimenting me and stuff. Like people are just so, so nice whenever you're pregnant. Um, I'll definitely miss <laughs> the attention that you get having a big belly, but I guess it definitely does draw attention. I kind of forget sometimes when I walk in places, I'm like, why are people staring at me and like smiling at me? Like people just smile. The other day at the airport, I was like boarding my flight and just like an older lady was standing behind me and she just said, like, how are you doing, honey? Like patted me on the back, asked me how I was doing. And I was so confused. I just like forgot in that moment that I was pregnant and I was just like, oh I'm I'm fine like I was confused why she was asking me how I was and then it clicked and so yeah people are just like so sweet when I was boarding the plane everyone like the man in front of me was like oh let me like get your bags for you like put my bags overhead so yeah people are very very nice to pregnant women which I do appreciate <laughs>
happy Friday. I am just getting ready for the day. Just kind of been hanging out at the house this morning. As you saw, I just made breakfast, watched some YouTube. I just put on a tan for tomorrow because tomorrow is baby shower day. I could not be more excited. I feel like I've dreamt of having a baby shower my entire life. Obviously, it's just like the biggest dream come true. Just like becoming a mom so yeah I've always dreamt of having a baby shower because that means I'm having a baby <laughs> and so I could not be more excited a couple of my best friends Kyle's sister my mother in law and my mom are throwing it for me and I know nothing I know the theme but other than that I don't really know anything else they've been taking care of everything over the past few months um, taking care of like food decor all of that and they're all getting there early tomorrow morning to set up and I'm gonna show up around 12 whenever the party starts but just doing some prep today, showered, shaved, exfoliated, put on a nice little tan. As you guys saw, I did some self curlers or what are they, heatless curlers <laughs> last night. Just blowed out my hair for tomorrow. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to wear my hair. I might wear it actually in like an updo. I just wanted to make sure that I had it blown, blown out so that it looked really nice just in case. I can't wait to show you guys my dress that I'm wearing tomorrow. I actually bought it a couple months ago, but... I've had it picked out for months and months, like ever since March probably. Um, I can't remember the name of the brand. If I remember it, I'll put it on the screen. Um, they have the cutest maternity dresses and just like baby shower dresses, stuff like that. So I ordered it a while ago and it definitely had like plenty of room to grow. So I think it'll fit me perfectly fine tomorrow. Sorry, I'm literally so out of breath these days. Just even like talking to the camera <laughs> makes me so out of breath. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to wear my pretty dress and see everybody. I think we have like over 50 people coming, friends and family, and yeah, I'm just so excited. Obviously, it's going to be mainly a girl event. I feel like baby showers are typically for the women. Um, there'll be like a couple guys, like my brother's coming, my dad's coming, Kyle will be there, but mainly just like my girls, um, and all like my family members, aunts and stuff like that. So I cannot wait. Just so excited to see everybody. Obviously, everybody loves a good baby shower. It's so fun to like open baby gifts. Um, I can't wait to see just all the baby stuff. It's going to make me so excited and so happy. So all right, I just finished getting ready for the day. I just threw on this comfy set. Just like a really cozy two-piece set. Really nice to have something that just like covers the bump. I feel like the heatless curlers turned out okay. Definitely gave me like a little bit of volume, a little bit of wave, um, but I'm still just not 100% sure if I'm going to want to wear my hair down or up tomorrow. I'm kind of leaning towards up just because it's supposed to be 95 degrees and I just know I'm gonna be like sweating so we'll kind of see TBD but I just have some work stuff to get done today um just some stuff around the house I need to edit a video and I really want to like get out and go on like a long walk today I know it's so hot but I have not been walking as much as I want to I want to get more steps in being like close to the end of pregnancy it's so easy to just lay on the couch all day and I don't want to do that so I'm going to try to get a little walk in today and then I want to start doing like daily yoga just like a prenatal yoga session every day just to stay active stay limber throughout the rest of my pregnancy um but I think I'm going to end off this vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm going to start up a vlog tomorrow which will be the baby shower vlog I'm going to try to get as many clips as possible to show you guys all the baby shower decor and setup and all that stuff. I'm gonna hand my camera off to one of my good girlfriends and have her try to get some content. Um, but I'm just so excited for tomorrow. I just, I can't wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog coming along with me throughout my week. I love filming these just like chill chatty week in the life vlogs. Let me know if you guys like them as well. I hope you guys are excited for the baby shower vlog. That will be up next very shortly. So subscribe if you're not subscribed and you can always hit that notification bell which notifies you when my videos go live. So I love and appreciate you guys as always and I will see you in my next video. Bye!